So it's been a while since I've uploaded on this channel. My bad, man. I've been focusing on the main channel lately, but I'm back now and planning to do some more gaming. So I thought I'd go defeat the Zora dungeon and boss since I left off here months ago. The gravity is very low around here because we're so high up. After you speak to Sidon, you got to use these huge water balls to travel from one sky island to the next. You got to use a fire hydrant to clean the shit off everything before you can walk on it. Um, and there are lots of those construct fucks scattered all over the place. Then it's a series of waterfalls. You got to swim up to traverse the sky islands. I just followed my shrine sensor until I finally ran into the Igishan Shrine. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally out. How is your memory? And can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. That's, uh, that's, you that's my memory. memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, no. My memory is not good. My memory is fine. I've dirtied over 15,000 diapers since I've been president. None of you thought I could pass huge turds like that. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Orbs of water. Damn it, when you swim out of the water ball, it pushes you to the bottom. Shit, I guess we'll just have to do this the easy way then. I got a large zoni charge, nice. All right, we've just got to keep on uh, riding the balls. Uh, and I guess we'll get where we're going. Eventually. Uh, okay, I believe I know what we need to do here. We just need a ramp to change the path of the water ball. Uh, I just need to move this big block first. I believe that should do it. Well, it wasn't a difficult shrine, but it it was pretty boring, if you ask me. Um, that was shrine number 101.
now it's time to deal with that dungeon. Uh, to get there, you gotta place one of these wings just right, then hit the switch and get shot across to the next island. After taking out the construct that's over there, um, use the waterfall to get up higher. Um, then just paraglide your way to the nearest waterfall in this huge trail of floating waterfalls. found an old map over here on this small island. Shit, um, I think I can make the one. That's way out there, man. Then there's more water balls and puzzles. And then finally, um, you've got to build something to get over to the Sky Island where Sidon is waiting after taking out one of those really strong constructs you can now finally enter the water temple man I'm exhausted so then you talk to Sidon again and afterward, you can activate the temple. Let me tell you something. I think that, uh... Thank you, everybody. Thank you. But we're going to need everybody to hold for a moment. and you can collect water here. So we got to turn on the four faucets by activating the terminals. Um, uh, the first one is located directly below us. All you got to do is put on your flame breaker armor and... Are you all right? Wait, I mean, all you got to do is use Sidon's power to safely walk through the flames. Once you're inside, there is a ball that needs to be placed in a hole. But first use a floating platform or something heavy to press down on the button that turns off the flames so Sidon can enter. Then attach the ball to a floating platform so it will stay in the awkwardly placed hole. Um, I couldn't tell you how many times my balls fell out. Then use Sidon's power to activate the terminal. Yes, you got one flowing. This is great. Just free to go. To find the next path. Uh, I went back up to the surface and, and I used the little bird kid to push a water ball toward the closest sky island. I, I barely made it. When I got over there, I had to take out more constructs. 
Then I picked up the ball that I found floating in a pool and I put it inside a water ball and sent it on its way because the hole is over there. Eventually I figured out that I can lift this gate and it will drain the pool, but it immediately falls when you let it go. Um, so I just put some recall fuckery on it and got the next terminal activated. I quickly made my way over to the next sky island. Uh, I found a broken water mill that was practically begging to be repaired. Uh, so I attached the provided planks and boom, the power came on, uh, but it still needed something to complete the circuit. After trying a weapon, and searching all over for a clue, I finally realized that I can grab a hold of the water balls and move them wherever I please. So I used one to complete the circuit and then activate the terminal. All right, just one more thing. The last one uh, is the one with the spinning tower and it was the easiest one, but it took me a long time to complete it anyway. I was making it way too damn difficult. Uh, don't waste your time. Look, all you need to do is aim your bow while you're in midair, and the slow motion effect will start. Then you can just wait for it to spin around until you see the switch inside and hit it with the arrow. This will grant you access to the final terminal. You did it, Link. Okay, they're all filled up. Now we just need to use the central device. Okay, all that's left to do now is activate the temple once again to begin the boss fight. I'm so fucking tired, man. I've dirtied over 15,000 diapers since I've been president. None of you thought I could pass huge turds like that. How'd that happen? This little guy uh, and his huge shark friend aren't all that tough. I mean, uh, they did kick my ass pretty badly for a while there, and it's quite annoying to deal with all the shit splattering everywhere. But once I figured out that I could just use a spear with Sidon's power to quickly fling water to stun them, I was able to beat the living shit out of him. because in the second half, the whole area was covered in his excrement. It's pretty gross, but I totally understand. It happens to me all the time, 
Dr. Jill won't even let me sleep in the bed anymore. Um, she says she's tired of waking up with shit in her mouth. Man, ever since she became the first lady, suddenly she's not into that anymore. Fucking women, am I right? Die, you shit-eating son of a bitch. Eventually he was a goner and I was triumphant yet again. So... Um, after defeating the boss of the water temple, I collected my 23rd heart container, talked to the netherworld vaping chick, and uh, permanently acquired the, the Sidon water power thing, um, uh, whatever the hell you call it. After all this, I still wanted to find uh, the remaining two pieces of Zora armor. So I went around and spoke to everyone in town uh, until I got some answers. And I indeed got my answers. First, I went back to that whirlpool area from the previous video. This time I found an underground chamber. Inside the chamber, there was a waterfall. Behind the waterfall, I finally found the Zora Greaves. Then I went back to the big floating fish and got the Zora Helm. And finally, I went to see one of those thick-ass fairy milfs to immediately get the entire set upgraded. Twice, actually. Um, and I believe that's where I'm going to have to end this one. Because I'm afraid my pants are full of debris that breached my diaper security perimeter. How'd that happen? It's going to take a while to mop up. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Thanks for watching.